G'day YouTube, welcome to my channel. Yesterday I released the first part in my series of GSM decoding instructional videos and covered the hardware and software requirements needed and also demonstrated how to scan for GSM cellular base stations. In this video I will be showing you how to receive a GSM base transceiver stations control channel or BCCH as it is known in GSM engineering speak and we're going to decode it in real time and have the GSM tap packet data displayed in Wireshark for us to read and analyze. Wireshark is the only additional piece of software needed for this tutorial. If you're using Dragon OS, Wireshark is already installed out of the box. To see the other hardware and software requirements, please refer to my GSM decoding part one video, which I uploaded yesterday. So what is the BCCH? It stands for Broadcast Control Channel, and its main purpose is for advertising the existence of the cell, along with various data transmissions relating to configuration, system information, and identity. <clears throat> The significance of the BCCH is that, as per the GSM technical standards, it acts as a kind of beacon channel and is required to operate 100% of the time at maximum output power, which makes it a prime candidate to receive and decode with a software-defined radio. Before we get started, I will set the scene hardware and software-wise. <clears throat> I have my laptop plugged into AC power and turned on. I have Linux running on bare metal booted from a USB thumb drive. I have my software defined radio plugged into USB and an antenna is attached to the RF port. GRGSM underscore live mon is the binary that we will be utilizing from the GRGSM software suite. It won't allow us by itself to view human readable GSM data, but however, it does forward decoded GSM tap packets to a UDP port of 4729 on our system loopback address of 127.0.0.1. Dot .0 .0 .0 In order to view these packets, we will need to launch Wireshark first. So if you haven't done so already, open up a terminal and we will run the following command. Uh, once Wireshark is running and listening, we can launch the GRGSM LiveMon binary. If you are unsure on how to run GRGSM executables in the terminal window by command line, please refer to part one of this video series. Because Australia has no active GSM networks anymore, I have a Blade RF simulating a GSM base transceiver station running on a frequency of 1805.2 MHz in the DCS 1800 band. So we'll, if you haven't done so already, we will open up either a tab in our terminal window or open a new terminal. It's up to you how you want to do that. And the easiest way to get started with GRGSM Live Monitor is type the following. <clears throat> and then we hit the enter key. But because we are super cool elite hackers, we will get our hands dirty with some more advanced arguments to send to the binary. So we will send it the H argument to see the configurable options. So we'll get our hands dirty a little bit and configure some more advanced options so we will go ahead and write gsm underscore livemon 
we'll put F for frequency, 1805.2 M for megahertz, because the receiving and transmitting antennas are very close together. We don't need to configure too much receiving RF gain. So we'll configure 10. We know that RTL based dongles have a oscillator frequency drift of 0 0.5 parts per million. So we will just round that up to one. And finally, we will add the sample rate of one E six, which means one mega sample per second. Then we hit the enter key. And immediately we get the live monitor window pop up. This is called the FFT display. And we can clearly see that there is a 200 kilohertz wide signal protruding from the noise floor. This is a non-hopping GSM downlink signal. We will then move our attention from the FFT window over to Wireshark and we can see decoded GSM packets filling up the top window pane. GRGSM live monitor will run indefinitely until you close the FFT window. Exit the terminal or send it the control C exit keyboard shortcut. So that is all there is to it. We have successfully down decoded the BCCH control channel of a GSM cell. Uh, stay tuned for part three of my GRGSM video series, which we will be covering the capturing of GSM signals and storing them to a file on your PC with the GRGSM capture utility. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.